What's up, people? All right, we're going to take a look at the uh, MIP bypass system for the Mugen. Uh, Flashpoint makes it makes this um, system also. It's just made by Flashpoint. But this one I have is for 16 millimeter shocks, and it's uh, six hole with 1.3 inch holes. All right. Now, here's the part number. Uh, let me see, make sure y'all can see that part number. That's 18400. Now, this is for the Mugen. Um, they got different ones for TLR, Kyosho, stuff like that. This is for the Mugen. I'm opening them up, show you what comes in the bag and stuff like that. All right. So this is a way of controlling like your, your rebound um, faster or slower with the rebound with different valves, okay? I'm no expert on this. Uh, for me, it's been mostly trial and error. I can, uh, I can understand it, but I can't tell you exactly, boom, like you need to do that, that valve you should be running. For me, it's just more of a trial and error. I just try different valves and work it out like that, all right? But I'm opening it up, show you what's in the bag, show you what you get, and um, that's it, all right? All right, so let's, uh, let's move that out the way. Let's open her up here. Uh, let me get my trusty scissors here. All right. Dump that all out. And you get some directions. Hold on. All right. Let's look at the directions first. All right. Uh, that's it. Okay. You can see from the paper, from the chart, I'll make sure y'all can see that. Okay, cool, cool. All right. So the green valve is a faster rebound. Then blue is like medium. Hopefully y'all can see that, yeah. And then the clear or uh, matted color one is a slower rebound, okay? Now, when would you want to really use um, like either slow or faster rebound? For me, if the track is bumpy, I want to get a faster rebound because I want the wheels to absorb the bump but get back to the ground faster, okay? So, but it's a play, it's a, like I said, it's a more of a, you have to try it, you know what I mean? And see, drive the car, set your car up normally and then drive it. See what you figure out what you want, then try different valves and then figure out which way will work best for you. They also got some tuning valves here right there you can see right there um hopefully it, oh hopefully that's in focus but they also got some tuning valves there it's a tan one um and a brown one and there are different uh also different um rebound speeds there too okay that's the back of it and that's basically how it go you can also pile valves on top of each other okay whereas though to get like in between valves, if, if you can, if you understand that. All right, so you can do like a green and a blue or a green and a clear to get right there in the middle. It just makes you, it's basically, it helps you just to tune your, your suspension better, okay? All right, cool. So let's see what you get. All right, so you're gonna get four pistons for your shocks. Oh, you also get a sticker right there. Boom, you also get an MIP sticker. All right, so you're gonna get four um, shocks. I mean, I'm sorry, four uh, uh, pistons. Oh, Tongue tied. All right, you're gonna get four pistons. I have the six hole. They also have the eight hole, but I have the six hole. And each six, each hole is 1.3 millimeters. Okay. The three hole here is what control is, is the valve. So it's gonna control your pack and your rebound. The three holes right here. Okay and the valve sits on top of it, all right? In the case here, you're gonna get, open that up. I'm gonna dump these out, all right? I'm gonna move this to the side, dump this out. All right. Oop. Get that little bad boy out of there, all right. In the little case, and I like how they got, what's the one, green, fast, blue, medium, and clear, slow. I like how they got that. So it's quick, easy, little carry case. That's pretty snazzy. Hopefully you'll see that. Boom. All right. So now, these are the valves. Yeah, I can see that. Blue, green, boom, boom, boom. 
That's your clear one right there. All right. Now, you also get these washers. They're like little cat washers. Hopefully, y'all can see them. Hold on. Let me put them in my hand. All right. They're little cat washers right there. Okay. Sorry. Back phone call as usual. Okay. What was I saying? All right. So, the way you build these up is very, it's really simple. Okay. And let me see if I can get you in close. All right. In the there, you can see there is an indentation. Okay. That's going to be for your old washer that's on your uh, regular shock. Okay. So it's going to sit like that. So you, you pull here, your washer there, and it's come up from the bottom. Okay. From the top, you're going to put one of, your, one of your valves on here. Goes down like that. But the most important thing is this cat washer. See the cat washer? It's going to go like that and go in there like that. Okay. That's how it'll be. Your washer will fit right in there. All right. Hopefully y'all can see that. Yeah. Your washer will fit right in there pole goes through there your, your shock shaft go through there and then you put your shock shaft nut on top tighten it down and what that does is the up and down motion this valve control that valve and controls your pack and your rebound okay and it's different thicknesses for that okay now I already have this built up in the Mugens they work great um, you really like I said you really have to play with this to figure out like I can't sit here and say like, well, look, put a blue in here, put this, that, this, that. Only thing you, I, you can really do is get ideals, and you have to really play with it and see what it works for your track. Like I said, when it's bumpy, I tend to try to get a faster rebound, but sometimes that's not always what you, it might not work all the time, but I try to, okay? Um, also, you got to play with your different shock oils. Your shock oils, your springs, it's so much tunability to it is it, 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 it can get confusing at times that's why I try to do one thing at a time just one step at a time all right I just wanted to show y'all that and bring y'all this something really quick it's something you might want to think about getting uh, as far as you know improving your shock package especially if you're having trouble um, as far as like handling or your car doesn't it's not really good in the bumps or on the bumpy tracks it's just something to aid and helping to get you a little bit faster or get you confident, more confident to go faster. All right, peoples. So this is just a quick one. Um, maybe I'll do a shock rebuild once I rebuild the shocks and I'll show you, show you them in my car. Um, but that's basically the MIP bypass system. All right. All right, peoples. This is your man Rajay111. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.